Unit testing is something we're going to spend a lot of time in this course looking at. And unit testing means looking at some small software module at a time and testing it in an isolated fashion. And so this is what we were doing with the bounded buffer example from the last unit and um, with the square root function that we were talking about earlier in this unit. The main thing that distinguishes unit testing from other kinds of testing is that we're testing a small, a smaller amount of software. Often the person performing the unit testing is the same person who implemented the module. In that case, we may well be doing white box testing, but unit testing can also be black box testing. The goal of unit testing is to find defects in the internal logic of the software under test as early as possible in order to create more robust software modules that we can compose later with other modules and end up with a system that actually works. Besides the size of the, so of the software under test, the other thing that distinguishes unit testing from other kinds of testing is that generally, at this level, we have no hypothesis about the patterns of usage of the software under test. In other words, we're going to try to test the unit with inputs from all different parts of its domain. Remember, the domain is the set of possible inputs for this, for this piece of software. Unit testing is also a kind of testing that enjoys a great deal of good tool support. And so Python, in fact, has a number of frameworks for unit testing. It also has a number of frameworks for what are called mock objects. And what mock objects are is fake objects that we can bolt under the software under test that mock up the behavior of the larger software system in which this unit lives. And what we'll do is we'll include links to some of these tools in the supplemental material for this course.